I want to spend the rest of my time though, talking about one particular child, uh, my third child, Jessica. D please don't tell my other children I'm doing this. <laughs> She's 27. She chose medicine as a career. She married Andrew Iliff, the son of British parents who live in Zimbabwe, where Andrew grew up. Jessica's a medical student at Yale, and Andrew's a law student there. They're going to live in Africa, Zimbabwe, they hope, when their training is done. He'll work on human rights, and she'll work on global health. The, the whole crew is growing up. I watch them in, in awe sometimes. What I admire most about them is that they all seem so much to want to make things better. On election day 2008, every one of them was on a campaign trail somewhere. Ben was in Ohio, Dan in Alabama, Jess and Andrew and Becca were in New Hampshire. They're worried, of course, but they will not agree to be victims. They'd rather make the future than predict the future. They're like you, students. They don't just want to read maps. They want to draw maps. And, and that brings me to the future, the future that's watching us. <clears throat> Uh, we here, uh, all of us today, are setting the table. We're preparing the world for my children and for their children. And because of the career that Jessica chose, we're preparing the world for her twice. Once because, like all of us, she will someday be a patient, and once for her life as a doctor. For Jessica, for Dr. Jessica Berwick, as for all the students witnessing here today, we will create or we will fail to create the context that will give her a chance to do what she wants to do most with her career, to heal. So come with me 20 years into the future. I will be 82 years old then. How old will you be when the harvest of our choices have become the platform for Jessica's life? what we had to say for ourselves then in 2028, the 40th National Forum. I don't know. Uh, I can uh, report on the past, I can describe the present, <clears throat> but I'll have to write, Jessica, uh, two letters about the future, not one. She can open them 20 years from now. And one of these letters will be right, and the other will be wrong, and I don't know which is which. So here, here's the first letter. <clears throat> 